Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Raiders here. The massacre in Newton, Kansas. One of the bloodiest gunfights in Kansas history. Let's look into it. Last week, I mentioned a little-known gunfight that occurred in Kansas in 1871. I've known about this event for many years, but decided to investigate and see what I could tell you about it. It's fascinating. Really. Alrighty then. Mike McCluskey was a gambler and sometimes lawman in Newton, Kansas in 1871. In July of that year, the railroad came to town and put Newton on the map as a shipping location for the big cattle herds coming up from Texas. The story goes that Mike befriended a young man named James Riley, nicknamed Kinch. James was a very frail looking kid and many today think he may have been suffering from tuberculosis. However, there's no evidence of that. It is said that McCluskey took the 18-year-old Kinch under his wing and even taught him how to shoot. Remember, there's a lot more to gunfighting than just shooting at a mark. On August 12th, McCluskey shot and killed a Texan named Bill Bailey during a heated argument. He was acquitted on self-defense, even though Bailey didn't have his gun out. This enraged Bill's friends that justice wasn't done. Justice is about to be served. We'll have two justice platters, please. On the night of August 19th, Mike McCluskey and James Riley entered the Tuttle's Dance Hall for a night of cards in an area of town called Hyde Park. Three Texas cowboys came in with revenge in their eyes. The head honcho, Hugh Anderson, called Mike a coward and threatened to kill him. Mike McCluskey jumped up and Hugh shot him in the neck. After he hit the ground, three more rounds were fired into Mike's back, killing him. The tale I heard years ago was at this point, young Riley, with blood in his eyes, locked the doors in the saloon and opened fire. All right, boys. Let's dance. Whether or not the locking the doors part of the story is true, accounts say that Riley shot into the cloud of black powder smoke and took down seven men. The four Texas Cowboys were all hit, and two wouldn't make it. Also killed was an up-and-coming law officer named Jim Martin and two innocent bystanders. Now, there's no way James Riley could see what he was shooting at with all that black powder smoke, and I'm sure he didn't mean to hurt the innocents. You see, that's a disadvantage to this propellant, and I encourage all of you to shoot black powder at some point and really put you in your old Westian's shoes. Regardless, Kinch emptied his Colts and walked out the door, never to be heard of again. Two years later, an article came out reporting that Hugh Anderson was killed by McCluskey's brother in a brutal gun and knife fight in Medicine Lodge, Kansas. But census records follow Hugh from Texas to New Mexico, where he apparently died in 1914. Hmm. We'll have to investigate that in another episode. But what happened to our boy Kinch? Did he die of tuberculosis? Did he even have it? Did he move east and raise a family? Well, we don't know. I don't know. And just like that, James Riley becomes one of the mysteries of the Old West. Due to this incident, and many others, Newton was known briefly as Bloody and Lawless, the wickedest city in the West. Well, there are a few Old West burgs that can make a similar claim. However, this event had a high body count and seems like a scene from a Martin Scorsese film. Today, the cow town of Newton is built over the Hyde Park area, but a museum a block away from the gunfight still carries the area's history should you ever visit. Well folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Raiders here.